This is the lock picking lawyer and the lock you see in front of you is condemned. It's a Stanley model CD 8820. It's from Stanley's 24 seven lineup. And I say it's condemned because I'm about to subject this to a non-traditional destructive attack that I think will get us into it very, very quickly. But that's tomorrow's video. Today, I am going to show you what it takes to pick into this lock. Now, interestingly, this lock has an ASTM rating that suggests it should have eight minutes of pick resistance. Now, I think that's wildly optimistic, as you will see as we try to pick this guy open. So if we look at the bottom, we can see there is a standard Schlage SC keyway. And as I usually use with that keyway, I'm going to put a 25 thousandths pry bar in the top and use a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Okay, one is loose, so is two, three, okay, four is binding, got to click out of him. Nothing on five or six, back to the beginning. One is loose, click out of two, nothing on three, four, five, I think I might've gotten a little something out of five. Click out of six, back to the beginning. Click out of one, and we open this lock up. Okay, let's take this guy apart and I will show you what's inside. Now this Stanley has a really unusual disassembly method. You can see we have one of these security nuts down here, and usually you can remove that security nut by taking out a screw in the shackle hole. However, as you can see here, the security nut is in the retained side of the shackle. So we have to remove the shackle before we can take that security nut out. And to do that, all we have to do is remove this little Allen screw. Now let's get the key here. We should be able to pull the shackle out. Okay, now that we have the shackle and spring out, we should be able to access a, another Allen screw further down in the lock. And that should allow us to take the bottom of the padlock off. Okay, there's that screw. And now the whole bottom of this lock should come out. There we go. Okay, a couple interesting features to note here. First, as far as drill protection goes, we have this little spinner that guards the keyway, but what we also have is a ball bearing there. And if you look at the way this lock goes together, that ball bearing sits right in front of the pin stack. So it provides a really nice additional piece of drill protection. Okay, let's see, we need to take this lock apart and it's a standard Schlage key and knob cylinder, which means we all have to unscrew this cap. Okay, now we should just need a key and a follower, and this guy should open up. There we go. Okay, looks like all standard key pins. They do not look like they're made out of brass. They may have some sort of silver metal. Let me check these with a magnet. They do not appear to be magnetic, so probably nickel silver for wear resistance. Let's flip these around, and we'll get the driver pins out. Okay, looks like we have a one serration in the driver pin in slot one a standard in slot two, standard in slot three, 
a anti-bump pin in slot four and actually a much more powerful spring there. Standard in slot five and a single serration in slot six. I'm not sure why they would ever think that would provide eight minutes of pick resistance, but there you go. Okay, all of the springs are the same with the exception of this one in slot four on the anti-bump pin, and that one is significantly stronger. Okay, let me give you a close-up of all of this, and then the next time you see this lock, will be its last day alive. Okay, uh, these key pins, as you can see, all standard, looks like they're made out of nickel silver for wear resistance, which is always nice to see. Then for our driver pins, it looks like we have two pins with a single serration in each in slots one and six. We have an anti-bump pin with an extra heavy spring in slot four. And then we have three standard pins in slots two, three, and five. Moving over to this core, we do have one interesting thing here, and that is the presence of countermilling in all six of the chambers. Other than that, nothing unusual about this core at all. Okay, so this has been the Stanley model CD8820 from the Stanley 24-7 lineup. As I said, you will be seeing this lock again tomorrow, and I think we'll be able to get into this even faster with a destructive attack. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.